All right, let's talk about reinventing yourself as a hairdresser. Something that's uh, really important uh, for every hairdresser to know as they continue on their journey from, you know, getting out of beauty school, just like clients do from, you know, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. We're going to go through our different looks. What can we do and how should we do it? Never stand still. First of all, if you're not learning all the time, you're losing ground. So part of reinventing yourself is to continue to grow yourself education-wise. Um, know about more than just cutting hair. Know about technology. Know about business and management and, and business trends, as well as fashion trends. All of these things change, and it's really important for you to stay on top of your game uh, and continue to be a leader in the industry is to be upfront on what's happening, what's next, and what the trends are. We want to use technology to keep up with the different things that are going on globally. The news that's happening around the world. Uh, for example, I have BBC News on my iPad. So when we sit down uh, with a client, I can keep in touch with what global news is, uh, as well as Fox and CNN. And, things like that. So just being able to keep up with world markets. Keeping up with your education is really important also. My suggestion to you is if you're going to go up in your prices, you should go up in your prices around your education. So clients want to have this perceived value, this perceived difference of service. So as long as they feel like you're keeping current with the trends and continuing to educate yourself, no matter when that is, whether it's year one of your career or year five or year 15, as long as you continue to educate yourself in the industry, you're going to stay on top of the trends. Now, keeping yourself fresh is another thing that's really, really important. You may want to uh, make sure that your personal appearance gets a periodic update. Stay current with what's happening with your look. If, uh, you know, if the look is porcelain skin, then you don't want to be laying out in the sun eight hours a day. If the look is tan skin, use a good self tanner. So people who are interested in the world are interesting people. Try to keep yourself educated in more than just one area. Um, I find that the older we get, we kind of get complacent in where we are and we like to just stay in our little triangles and do our little circle of things that we do. But in order to stay current and stay fresh, we have to stay interesting. And you know, of all the industries that we could have chosen, hairdressing is by far the most interesting industry in the world. It's almost as good as people watching in the airport. So listen, let yourself be passionate about your personal interests, but don't let them take over what you do with the clients. They want to know that you have interests outside of just hair. You don't just want to be that person, but you want to be kind of balanced here. So when you reinvent yourself, know that you're reinventing yourself all the way around in your personal interests and in your business interests and your fashion and your image. It may sound like you've gotten a lot of information here and you may be going, oh my God, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get all this done. What you need to know is that the more you do, the more you can do. See, success doesn't happen overnight, but over years. Now you have to keep reminding yourself about what's possible. Becoming a six-figure hairdresser is within your reach. You have to stay focused on that. We called it the six-figure hairdresser so you didn't just limit yourself to $100,000. Because I believe that with the way technology is uh, being introduced to our industry, I believe that we'll see people in the hair business making over $200,000 a year at some point and hopefully some point soon.